For decades, the music industry had no system for music credits. Today, welcome to Sound Credit. Enter credits using the Sound Credit Publisher desktop app, the Sound Credit kiosk, the Sound Credit mobile app, the tracker plugin, or with any barcode scanner or magstripe reader. When the information is in, use the world's most advanced editor for music credits. With insight gathered from serving thousands of users, you will experience a highly developed modern platform that is secure, accurate, and simple. Then, use Sound Credit's patent pending export section to generate draft label copy, CD and vinyl covers, lyric sheets, metadata for mastering, and more. Enter credits your way and export everywhere with Sound Credit. Hi everyone, my name is Gabri Waddell, CEO of Sound Credit. Uh, it's good to be here at the Creator Credit Summit and I thank you all for being here. Uh, I'd like to tell you that you are really about to witness something amazing today. Our team over the past year has experienced a real quantum leap in development. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Last year at the Creator Credit Summit in Stockholm hosted by Spotify, I announced that in a few short weeks, Sound Credit would be coming with Avid Pro Tools subscriptions. And to a lot of people, this was one of the most historic milestones that could ever be reached for music credits. Today, I'm happy to tell you that it is now in place as a reality since January of this year. And even more powerfully, I'm proud to announce that over the past two years, we have assigned over 500,000 licenses for the Sound Credit platform. And there are three reasons for this traction. First, we check our assumptions at the door and we do the deep research. Last year at the Creator Credit Summit, I showed this volume of research that we did with one of the major labels, which represents less than 10% of the total research that's gone into the platform. With a full in-house development team, Sound Credit knows what to build to deliver value to the real world, we have the means to build, and because of this, we have the user base. We released the first component for entering information into the platform years ago, and it's now called the Sound Credit Tracker plugin. This works in all recording workstations from Pro Tools to software like Reaper. With this, you can easily set up profiles for the people that you work with and for yourself and quickly check in using a drop down. This is still available today, and I'll also mention that this was the first software available to the public to utilize the REN standard. Overall, the platform remains as the only interoperable option available today with the capability to both load and save REN files. The next component we released was the SoundCredit Publisher desktop application. If you're using SoundCredit today, this is primarily what you're using. So in its early days, it worked a lot like the plugin. You could go to a participant and you could select from your profiles and easily check someone in from a drop down. Also, you could import participants. Uh, so you would be able to merge two sets of recording participants or work in other flexible ways. Like a, a producer on a beat website could publish the RIN for their beat and the next producer that's working with it could just merge and just import that information right in with those participants. Uh, you could also use the first song as a template for generating the rest of the recordings for a release. So that, could, that works like this. And if you had that first song entered, you could enter multiple tracks, uh, name them here so that only the unique items need to be changed. So that's where we were two years ago with users in more than 60 countries as we continue to iterate and improve every day. Today, the platform is light years ahead, and at the core of this new foundation are the Sound Credit Cloud profiles. Anyone in music can set these up, from the songwriter to the guitar player and the mastering engineer. You just go to soundcredit.com, you click sign in here, uh, you click get free account, and you will enter the account creation flow. So this is very easy to do, takes about a minute and a half. Now the really important thing here and that we're really excited about is that when you set up one of these cloud profiles with sound credit, you're gonna get an ISNI code as part of that registration. Now most people here in DDEX know about the ISNI code. For some of you that may not, it helps to identify creators in, uh, in any creative endeavor. 
So from authors, it was really big in the book world. Virtually every author has an ISNI code and it is continuing to grow in the music industry. You know, there's like 12 David Porters in the music industry. So when you're paying royalties, which one is this? That's a very important thing to know. Uh, so we have just uh, announced this and released this. This is the first time that music industry ISNI registrations have been free and automated. You know, up till about three months ago, you would have to pay, you know, maybe around $30 and wait up to three months to get your ISNI code. Well, you know, you can get a handgun in some areas faster than you could get an ISNI code in order to get your credit on music. So uh, we knew that we needed to do something about this. That was the impetus behind it. Uh, you'll see this here on the ISNI website today. You'll also get this certificate uh, emailed to you uh, so to officiate that ISNI code registration having happened. Using your sound credit profile, there is a lot you can do. Here is the section where you can edit your preferred credited name and aliases, list your common roles and other information which really streamlines check-in. And over on the ID codes tab, you'll see ISNI, uh, IPICAE, you can enter your IPN or directly retrieve it through our integration with PPL. And at the bottom, you'll see an option to order a sound credit ID card, which is one part of an announcement we're making here at the Creator Credit Summit. And here we go. Sound credit kiosks are here. Using the sound credit kiosk, you can check into a recording session in just seconds. This is a patent pending innovation of sound credit, so you will only ever see music credits in a kiosk from sound credit. And over the next 18 months, as we emerge from COVID, we'll be providing these to all of the top studios in the world at no cost. This next announcement is also happening for the first time here at the Creator Credit Summit. Over the next few days, we are officially launching the Sound Credit mobile app on the App Store and Google Play. You'll be able to easily set up a profile, manage your information, and check into recording sessions by using the Sound Credit app. Of course, all of these are just options. You can use any USB barcode scanner or MagStripe reader from Amazon to scan a card, or simply enter the email address of someone's Sound Credit profile to check them in. If they don't have an account, it's going to invite them to the platform. Or you can still use the plugin. Any of these, you can enter information manually. You know, we have provided virtually everything tech has to offer, so you can now enter information your way. Once information is entered, you'll be able to experience the world's most advanced editor for music credits. This live, multimodal, dimensional, and persistent search is extremely powerful, and you can do things like this. Here is everyone named Justin on this recording. Here is everyone that worked at Blackbird Studios. And here is a list of all the songwriters. And I could go into any of these and edit if I wanted to. Very easy to work this way. Uh, also, you can easily move uh, participants and reorder things in the way that you need and there are also uh, filters at the top here uh, you can go into filter modes uh, for instance in writer and publisher mode I could then view uh, all the writers and publishers grouped and if you have something like this maybe there's a songwriter but they have no associated publisher a flag will come up similar flags come up when information is missing for other items uh, this You don't have to watch a training video or remember anything. This is letting you know when something is missing. Uh, also, within the interface, you can enter recording details, equipment, and use our powerful lyrics editor. And we've saved the best for last here with the sound credit export section. We're also announcing this for the first time here at the Creator Credit Summit. So here is our section for draft label copy. These are a couple of our house formats. These four are standard label copy formats used by labels around the world today. These are our printable CD and vinyl inserts. Uh, the short versions are here. Here are the long versions. There are lyric sheets that can be exported, metadata for mastering, and with this you can export to both Sequoia and WaveLab. That's an announcement all on its own. Uh, you can also export spreadsheets for all music, the Orchard, Sound Exchange, and the MLC, as well as some amazing new things that will be coming up here in just a few short weeks. The export section you see here is a patent pending innovation of sound credit. You will only ever see a music credits platform functioning as a data hub with a variety of exports from sound credit. 
you can now collect information your way and export everywhere with this platform. There's at least one example of every part in the supply chain right here today. Uh, these exports have been released for over three months and have been in use for a few of the biggest artists in our industry. Over the past 10 minutes, you may have just witnessed the most important moment for music credits in our industry's history. And so what does that mean? That means connect with us. If you're a producer or you're a performer in this industry, the time is now to start using sound credit. And if you receive this kind of information, now is the time to connect with us and make sure that we are expanding on our promise to enter information their way and export everywhere.